Good afternoon. This is Ham Basics. My name is Jim. November Zero Lima Tango Tango. Today what I'd like to talk about are finding Yesu nodes. There are several ways to do that and I'm suggesting this is one way that you can do it. You need to open up an internet browser and enter the following URL into that browser. Once you do, it will execute and you'll find a very large table. I'll show you how large it is, or at least part of it anyway. Come here, work. You can see that there are hundreds, maybe even a thousand or so entries inside this table. <clears throat> but we're not going to mess around looking at all of that. What we're going to do is start out here. This is the latest WiresX active node list as of 2.43 on 2.12.2019. This top row is referred to as the header row. At least that's what I call it. And each column has a unique identifier indicating what the contents for that particular column are. The first one that I'm going to talk about is the node ID. And you can see here the node ID for this particular column or uh, row is ECHIGO. Uh, its unique identifier is a DTMF value uh, number. It's a five digit number, 12796. <clears throat> As you can see, the rest of these uh, header rows up here are self-explanatory in terms of what the contents are included in the lower rows. What I like to do when I'm looking at this, I have a specific area in the country that I want to go to. So to make it easier to sort through or to get to what I want, I first do an initial uh, sort by state. Uh, takes a few seconds to do. Now it's completely sorted alphabetically by the state, and I want to go down to Colorado. So I'm going to go Control F, which is find, and I have the word Colorado set in here, and I'm going to press Enter. And immediately it takes me down to the various Colorado nodes. Here's the um, <laughs> DTMF code for this particular individual. And as you can see, uh, there's several of them here in Colorado. This one right here, the K3 Charlie Romeo Sierra, is the uh, ham radio outlet node located over on the uh, east side of Denver. Um, today I have my node up, and it's 35031. The name of my node is called N0LTT. Located in Denver, and this is the frequency uh, when I'm on the air that uh, you can contact. It's a simplex, um, simplex frequency. Now I need to point out one thing for you. These values here are the node numbers. Every node can potentially be a room. A room number is ten thousand larger than any one of these values. So my node value is 35031. My room number is 45031. Going back to PowerPoint, I have an explanation about it. Once you run the node list, you'll see a table with hundreds of listed nodes, as you've already seen. Each node has a five-digit number. The room number is used to access a specific room. Note, the node number is normally 10,000 less than the room number. As I indicated earlier, my node number is 35031. My room number is 45031. I'm showing you a picture of what the WiresX software reveals when you're running it. Amount of These are all active nodes above and below. These are the node numbers, and you notice that N0LTT has this value right here. And going down here, I'm now into the room identifier, and it's N0LTT-room, but the number is 45031. My hope is that that will help you understand when you're entering node numbers or actually room numbers into your F70 or your FT2DR or the 100 or the 400 that you'll notice, you'll know the differences between those two numbers. Well, this is Ham Basics, and again, my name is Jim, N0LTT, and I want to thank you for listening and participating in this training video today. Have a great day.